spot of the day. Our boxers weighed in at 110 pounds. Tonight, boxing out of the red corner, he's in the black trunks trim with red, white, and gray. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Xavier Diaz. And tonight, boxing out of the red corner, he's in the blue trunks trimmed in with white. Here today, representing Iron Fist Boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for your son, Errington. Two minute rounds, junior division. Awaiting. Uh, ten pounders, Rick. We yes. saw them both uh, advance. I believe Diaz last night uh, or yesterday, and uh, Arrington. I think we saw the first night. Okay. Yeah. I remember uh, Arrington's shoes? They're quite flashy. <laughs> Yeah, righty versus righty. A lot of fighters will say, I bring it from down low because his peripheral vision doesn't pick it up as quick as if it's right in his face. So. That could be, I, I could agree with that. He's got a really fast, He's quick twitch yeah. jab. Arrington's looking to counter if uh, Diaz gives him something. There's a feint by Diaz. Diaz keeping his man in front of him, cutting the ring off. Nice sliding. Lead left hook. Yeah, he's, he's looking to counter. He's parrying punches. He's going to have to uh, establish a jab, get respect with that, and then he can use his feints uh, to get in if he wants to. Because you see, Harrington is very fast. He's not going to allow you uh, anything sloppy to hit him. Popping the jab and then jumping back and seeing what he what he can get. There's a feint. Yeah, that was a push down, not a uh, punch. Ref doing a good job there. That's round one. Now, what do you do with round one? Right. Well, I was an amateur judge for a while and also a rep. What I can tell you is the mindset that we have looking at the, the match as a sport is different than what you're focusing in, uh, focused on as a judge is. The judge is really searching for clean uh, jab, clean punch. So they're really documenting uh, a number of clean punches, whereas we're looking at the, the whole totality of totalness of the first round. So it, uh, you know, when you're put on the judge's pedestal, you, uh, you know, there might be that lead left hook that the guy. Three, three clean landed and. One plane landed from the other one. So that's pretty much how it's not as hard if you're focused just on judging for clean punches. Okay, but now what about overall? Uh, it, it appears that Diaz wants to press the fight a little bit. He's, he's not really pushing him. He's looking for the hard and the aggressive. Sometimes they would get you around. Yeah, ring generalship. Yeah, ring generalship should be weighed in on that. You know, the guy that is forward making the fight, taking the risk, as opposed to the guy being less aggressive and more defensive, like really want to get an engaged battle. Like I said, it's hard to score points for defense because uh, the point system is by
by the green portion of the glove. Years ago, they had the white portion of the glove. You know, now, thank God, they don't have that because, you know, that was kind of corny. Uh, too technical, I, I would say. But, uh, yeah, this is, you know, the judges really have to focus. You know, and they have to have some experience. And then if something comes up, even then you can, you can weigh in the ring generalship or the fact that Diaz is pressing. But he's, he's missing a lot, too, but I'm not discouraging him for the mission. But, you know, let's look at the accumulated uh, clean punches landed and, and uh, the devastation of, of that. This guy jumped in with a few left hooks. Yeah. I think both guys should work for yeah, I think both guys should take the risk now. I mean, this is the championship. Why, why leave anything on the table? You know, even if you get hit a couple of times, come in and and land some big punches. Nobody's risking. Right. be that way if you're if you feel you're dominant you you press the guy in your corner and, and make Arrington fight you know it's, it's an amateur to catch up or anything you got three rounds to go out and, and, and get something to make it happen right so, now they're both starting to probably said you know be cautious uh you know it's close you know try to get something real clean in there so yeah, it's gonna be hard. They both like the counter punch. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why there's no action. You know, they're both kind of waiting. Diaz has been waiting, and uh, Arlington is is waiting too. A little bit ahead of him now. He's, he's trying to he's trying to pick it up now. But but Arrington is very fast on his feet. Yeah, but any time you get near him, he's like a cat trapped and he's going to fire a bunch of, you know, doesn't even have to land, just flurry you off of him. Diaz is starting to take risks now. Well, he's going to run out of time here because it's only a two minute round, so you can't wait and say, man, I should have, could have, would have. Right now, he, he's becoming behind his jab. And because he didn't, he just got countered. You know, he basically got hit first. He's not trying to be first. He's trying to draw something, but this guy's just too fast to play that game. You gotta, you gotta take risks and come in behind his jab. There he got hit with an overhand right over his jab. Waiting too long. So right now, uh, Arrington is taking control of this third round because of the inactivity of, of he has to go back and look at the. Uh, that's a balance issue too. You know, even though. Yes, Arrington is coming in. That's gonna probably go to Yasin Arrington. Just Diaz never got busy enough. Never got on any kind of track or any kind of rhythm. Harrington's the kind of guy that if you can't outbox him, you got to turn it into a uh, kind of a, a close uh, in the phone booth type fight. You know, make them tackle you, make them wrestle you, make them hold, make them pin you down, but you're not going to catch him. He's a uh, fleet of feet. I'm doing a Johnny B on you.
You're going to go down and uh, uh, give these guys the... Commander. Oh, the commander, okay. What's the commander do about 10 of them? Right? I think we should keep him here all night. If he can hang, I don't think he can hang, but you know, it's going to be a long day at the office. Let's give these boxers one more big round of applause. And our opening bout of our finals, our winner tonight in this 110 pound division, by unanimous decision, out of the blue corner. Real and he just relied on his speed. Yeah, he landed a, a couple punches when he needed to. They weren't big, big, uh, you know, shift changers, but uh, Diaz, uh, Xavier has got to put a little more heat on a guy like that. All right, who are we looking at here? Yase Arrington. And the 110 pound champion? Yes, sir. Where are you, where'd you go to school? Uh, Kokomo High School. Where's that? Kokomo, Indiana. Kokomo, Indiana. I'm a Gary, Indiana boy. So congratulations. How many fights have you had? Thank you. Uh, I have about like like 70 fights. 10 fights? 70. 70. And how old are you? 16. When did you start fighting? Uh, when I was eight years old. Eight year fighter. 70 fights. And the champion here tonight. Yes, sir. Go ahead with your name again. Yasin Arrington. Congratulations, Josh. Thank you. Sibley Store Fixtures and Restaurant Equipment, located at 2 West 147th Street in Harvey, Illinois, and 1703 East End Avenue in Chicago Heights. For freezers, ice makers, slicers, mixers, and much, much more, that's Sibley Store Fixtures and Restaurant Equipment. Call 708 333 3990.